So one of my close friends, shout out kay Lolin, requested for me to do a skincare. And I just had shower. I already washed my face. Actually, ano lang, I only used Kojic soap. That's what I've been using for a long time now. And this video, I guess this video is just gonna be taglish. So, hindi ako, para hindi ako masyado natatanga kapag... Uh, Kailangan ko pa mag-isip ng English term or whatever. So, since I already washed my face, now I'm gonna use a toner. This one. Paano ba? Ganyan. Baliktad ba? Uh, sa umaga, I use this. I use a mist instead. So, I'm trying this out. Uh, cream Skin Lanage. Uh, refiner mist. I think this is really good. I've tried it for a few days now and I think this is really good for uh, dry skin. But I have a favorite but it's like gone now. I just got this in Walmart. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I ran out of it so I'm using that one. But tonight I'm gonna use a toner. So uh, napanood ko yung video ni Maricar de Mesa Poon and she was doing her makeup while while talking about forgiveness so I thought that maybe that's that's pretty nice to copy so sabi nila pala when you're like uh, doing this it's supposed to be when you're doing your skincare it, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't go like this way, that way, uh, down. It should be like up, always up. And then, masabi nila. Mm, dapat kao gentle. I don't know, medyo hindi ako masyadong sumusunod sa ganun. Medyo hindi ako gentle. So anyways, I just wanna talk about, uh, since gusto ko ang gayahin si Maricar, I wanna talk about, or pwede rin namang kamay lang. Siguro mas mild. Umahawakan yung mukha mo kung kamay lang. Tapos ganyan, tap, tap, tap. Yung mga ano, skincare experts or Korean. Tap, tap, tap lang sila kasi nga. Ano daw, you have to be really, really gentle on your face. So anyways, nagkaroon na ba kayo ng uh, toxic friends? Meron na akong kodi ko dito eh. So, parang uh, friends na Sobrang inintindi mo, pinakisamahan mo, kinaibigan mo pa rin kahit na parang ang daming negative sa kanya or sa kanila. Pero at the end of the day sa huli, parang ikaw pa din yung masama. Naka-experience na ba kayo ng ganong friends? Siguro halos lahat tayo naka-experience ng ganong friends, no? Pero, ano, I just wanna say na most of the time, pag meron kang ganong kaibigan, yung tipong super bait mo naman sa kanya, pero alam mo yun, yung parang hindi siya masaya kapag nagsasaksid ka, parang uh, pag may nangyari maganda sa'yo, parang instead na maging masaya siya sa para sa'yo, parang bitter siya, parang hindi niya masyadong ma-celebrate, or hindi niya, ah, ito pala yung uh, moisturizer. So anyways, uh, I use uh, aloe vera na moisturizer. That's really my holy grail. Medyo, I'm not loyal when it comes to the brand. I use whatever. As long as it's aloe vera. And I love Korean products. So anyways, back to our topic. So pag meron kang mga friends na ganun na, alam mo yun, parang wala ka namang pinakita sa kanila kundi kabutihan lang, inintindi mo, laging ikaw yung nag adjust Alam mo yun, para, rapos sa huli, parang ikaw parang yung masama. Pag may isa ka lang, halimbawa, may isa ka lang nagawa na he, may isang gusto nila na gawin mo na hindi mo nagawa, tas parang ang sama-sama mo na para sa kanila. Parang, ano, think na if something like that happens to you, uh, you should think that it's not about you. 
most of the time, it's about them. Kasi sila, sila yung may problema, hindi ikaw. And then, after natin ng moisturizer, so, ayun, I just used aloe vera. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, serum. Serum, yan. Pero, tonight, I'm gonna use this one. Ano ba yan? Kita ba? So, anyways, back to the topic. Pag may mga ganun kang friend na Parang, ayun nga, inintindi mo na, puro kabutihan lang yung binigay, ginawa mo para sa kanila. Pero, alam mo yan, pagdating sa ibang tao, parang ikaw pa rin yung, ikaw pa yung magiging masama. Parang, ano, just think na it's not about you, it's about them. Sila yung, sila yung may problema. Tsaka, you know what, at the end of the day, your real friends will know who you truly are na alam mo yun na para kasing kung, kung ganun din yung mga ibang ta iba mong friends maybe it means that they're not you know they're toxic friends they're not really good for you so ano parang protect yourself from people like them so pag nawala sila it's okay it's not your loss it's not parang ano don't don't blame it on yourself because you know at the end of the day your your mental health is more important parang uh you have to protect yourself and your heart and your mental health from you know people who drains drains you dry yung parang yun nga yung kahit anong gawin mo is hindi pa rin enough parang ang hirap nilang i-please so and, alam mo yung masakalap sa mga ganun tao? Kadalasan is, they're not even aware. Anyways, ayan. They're not even aware that they are toxic. So, which, which makes it more worse. Kasi nga, kung ikaw yung mas malawak yung panguna, parang ikaw na lang laging iintindi. So, you know, parang, give, kung talagang hindi nagbabago, give yourself, uh, give yourself, um, break give yourself, like, parang ikaw na yung mag-let go, parang at the end of the day, God knows your heart and you know your heart, so kung wala ka naman talagang ginawang masama pero ganun pa rin alam mo yun, kadalasan ng mga taong ganun is usually ingit lang eh parang they wish they were in your place, kaya hindi nila ma-celebrate yung success mo as a person, so as a friend, di ba? Kasi, para sa akin, number one na karakteristik dapat ng, ng true friend is, masaya siya if you're succeeding, right? So, parang kung hindi, is, alam mo na na, alam mo yun, insecure si friend sa'yo. Parang, friend ba talaga kita? Or, marami lang din talaga siyang unresolved issues sa sarili niya. Kaya, ayun. So, ayun. My advice is, don't take it too personally. It's not about you. Kadamihan sa ganong, karamihan sa ganong tao is sila talaga yung maraming hang-ups. Hindi ikaw. Pero, ano ha, we have to reflect on ourselves to Kailangan aware din tayo kung meron ba talaga tayong ginagawang mali. ba? Hindi yung puro blame lang din tayo sa iba. Tapos meron din pala tayong, so, kailangan meron din tayong, laki ng eyebags ko, no? Never mind. Self-awareness. So, yun lang. Ano siya? Tamad skincare lang yun. So, ang unang nilagay ko lang is, nagwash lang ako ng Kojic. Nagwash lang ako ng Kojic. Uh, toner. Toner. Um, serum. Moisturizer. And then, mamaya-maya pagtuyo na ito. Uh, sleeping mask. Lanage din siya. So, ayun. Actually, ngayong, ngayong may corona because of the pandemic, I'm getting so lazy na gawin yung skincare ko. Sometimes, I don't like even wash my face in a day. But, it's okay. You know, parang some days I feel so down. Parang kahit yun na, kahit mag toothbrush, mag hugas ng mukha, tinatamad ako. But, it's okay. You know, we don't have to be too hard. Isa pa, isa pa patong, pala tong pwede maging topic sa next na 
Etong ngayong pandemic, we don't have to be too hard on ourselves. Kasi nga, we're all in a crisis. And we're just all like, uh, trying to get by. So, parang, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Just, just to, just do whatever that will make you feel better. But, you know, if, if you make plans for the day and you weren't able to do it, just don't be too hard on yourselves. So that's it. See you on my next video. Good night.